Everybody knows, everybody, everybody, everybody knows, everybody knows what I'm talking about. This is the announcement of my brand, of our brand. So the name is Rue Sloan. Wednesday the 17th of July 2019 and I'm saying that because I don't know when this vlog is going to go out. We are on our way to um, a textile fair. So today, what I'm doing is, I'm going to a trade show in Paris. Where are you? Première vision, Parc des Expositions, Villepin. Oui, Granny Face. Mummy stole them. I'm so nervous. Are you nervous, Oli Bear? Having a quick cuddle before before we talk about it and I wanted you to be in mummy's video so that when we look back this is where it all started and it's all for you Ollie Bear it's all for you yes should give you back to daddy why I film I think he wants to go to daddy okay I'll be back say to everyone I hope you like what mummy's gonna tell you yeah I'm filming this so many times because I am so nervous and not making any sense. I've also filmed this video about five times over the last couple of years that I never put it out, so this might not even go out. So, as you've seen in the intro, no idea what intro Paris has put together, but this is the announcement of my brand, of our brand, mine and Paris's. So, um, I've even straightened my hair, I was like, I was so nervous. I haven't straightened my hair in years. I just didn't know what to do with myself. Okay, I'm going to try and not beat around the bush. I'm going to go talk you through as much as I can about my brand. It won't be too much of a teaser because I have kept this for so long. I'm going to go into detail, don't worry. I've kept this for so long and just before I start, whatever I say is not a dig at anyone whatsoever. There's different ways of making brands. None of it is wrong or right. They're just different and I'm going to explain how I'm making my brand and what kind of my brand mine is. It just doesn't mean that anyone doing something different is doing it wrong, okay? Just want to make that clear. Um, but I have had so many times where I lose confidence or don't believe in myself or I'm, re you know when you need to tidy up your room and you don't want to so you do everything to avoid it and then when you do it it's amazing. I've done that a lot, I've done that a lot and I kept saying I was so busy with my other work, you know I do this as a job and I have, I work in marketing and branding as well so I have a lot on and then this is my third job I've been doing so whenever you've seen hints and stories literally for over two years me saying okay like now working on my other job and it's like 12 o'clock at night and I'm showing pictures of fabric and stuff this was that job um plus I'm renovating my home so it's been oh and I had a baby so it's been very full on and I said that once I had the baby I would do it when I was pregnant but then obviously when you're pregnant it's a lot and I was already working and I thought no I need to prioritize the baby then covid happened so I think I could have done it earlier and showing you this early if it wasn't for COVID and being pregnant. But at the same time, I do doubt myself sometimes, like a lot of people do, and I would always put it back and then start again and then get really excited about it. Um, but during COVID, I thought, right, okay, those times I would be doing, spending on doing other things and going on shoots and press trips, I'm gonna make a go of it. And when I had Honoré, I was like, I'm doing it for him. I'm going for it. So um, I just basically, I mean, I mean, I just hurried things along a bit more, you know? And I was letting things get in the way, like, oh, I wanted to do my lookbook here, and I wanted to do a shoot here, you know, abroad, and I couldn't. But it is what it is, and I'm just gonna do it slowly in my own time. So, when did it all start? I've written notes, because otherwise I'd be all over the place, uh, just checking the time. So I've made my, I've told questions to myself. How long has been in the making? So, as, for those of you that don't know anything about me, for those of you that do, I'll just be repeating myself. This has been in the making since I can remember. All I wanted to do as a child was be a stylist and I always am just 
it was inevitable that I was going to make my own clothes. I've been making my own clothes for years, sometimes I show the odd thing here and there, I have a design degree, my whole education, my whole career has been leading up to this point. I always knew it would be, knew it would be happen, happen, and I had a timeline and you know a rough, a, quite quite a set in stone plan. But obviously things don't go to plan, and there was always something. You know when you're going to have a baby, or there's always something that you need to get out of the way. And I found it with this. So my advice is, if you ha have an idea, just go for it. You might self doubt. I did, and I am quite a confident person, and I know what my skills are. And even I doubted myself and got scared and got nervous. One of the best things that you can have being an entrepreneur is being a risk taker and that is something I'm not so I have struggled with that so it's been literally in the years in the making physically making this brand it has been since February 2019 which was when I went to my first PV Premier Vision for the brand um, I've been to PV lots of times with other brands and for other people but never for myself I've got some tips about PV if you are thinking about making your own brand there's some really good tips that I can share this is probably going to be a long video um, so I first went then, um, and then I went to some fabric shows and some trade shows, which you probably would have seen in the intro. I filmed all of them, and I was going to announce it in February 2019, but I was so scared. Do you know how I am with showing you, like, my home? I never want to show you something until it's finished, because I just want to be like, bam, with the final result, and that that's why I've waited so long. So this isn't an announcement of, um, I'm making a brand, it will be juice shortly I actually have samples and I have all of my manufacturers and you know you can have one manufacturer but for me it doesn't really work like that we are doing everything ourselves and yeah I just don't want to be making sure that this is not a dig at anyone else I'm just talking about my story I am doing everything from the designs from scratch the sketches like the illustration the sketches the CAD drawings fabric sourcing, manufacturer sourcing, everything. And I have fabrics from one country, you know, like maybe, let, I'm just gonna give random examples, outerwear from one country, delicate fabrics from another, outerwear fabrics from another, different manufacturers making, you know, the outerwear in one factory, the shoes in one factory. I'm not making any of those things, but just, just uh, telling you, and it's a lot. Then when you make the, make your choices like you there are like probably over a thousand stands at PV and then once you've gone for it's a three day thing and I did it four months pregnant and I actually did put that vlog out which I will put in the um, description box below I was starting to feel a bit more confident at this point sharing it because it was like my third time at PV or second I can't remember what that exact vlog was um, and I still chickened out and didn't tell you, even though I'd picked all my suppliers. Then you have to really meet again with your suppliers. And I wanted to check that there, there was a good workshop, you know. Everyone was being treated well. I had a good chemistry with them. It was taken so, so long. Then, once you get all the finances and all of this, we're self-financing. Everything's just for us. Um, I have been approached for investment, but it's all us. I just want to do this from the bottom. And I, do you know, I've got so many samples on this back wall and it wasn't even meant to be like that. I actually don't want them there because I'm worried I'm going to say something. Um, but they've been in the back of vlogs. Do you even know that I've worn some samples on my Instagram? I have literally worn some samples. I don't make any reference to them. It, I would be actually talking about something else and it was just to see your reaction. Plus I'm really excited when I had the samples. And all in vlogs. Or on stories, mostly on stories, because it's less of a commitment. And I would get such a good response from you. And it would make me so excited. You would all say, um, oh, forget the blah, blah, blah. Where's the blah, blah, blah from? And it was just to see what well, I didn't do any surveys or questionnaires, nothing like that. Because I know what I am passionate about making. And I feel like I'm going to be making a brand for what women want. So it is a women's wear brand. And something else, it's not just women's wear, it is going to be something else. Um, I'll just, it's, it's going to be very, very close that I'm going through. I'm not going to leave you waiting. I'm just waiting for um, a sample of something, and then we're going to have to get creative doing something under this whole lockdown and everything. Um, I'm, I'm going to watch this back and regret straightening my hair. That's probably better like that. So, um, 
forgot what I was saying, this is very long. Um, Ah, oh, what was I saying? Yes, it's a women's wear brand, and I feel like with my style and experience, I, I, I studied at London College of Fashion purely women's body shapes. And I also, you know, one day would love to do men's because I actually love men's fashion and men's styling and men's. I know men's body shapes just as well as I know women's. I know about fabric, fabrics, fabric composition, composition. I know what. I just feel like I have so much experience knowing what real women want. In different shapes and sizes and bear with me because I'm not a huge brand I don't have investment this is going to start off small and hopefully you will love the brand um, and hopefully it can grow together and I just want you to know that yes I'm making it out of passion for what I want but I am also doing it for you so we're going to do this together if you say to me Claire like I can't make everything as much as I'd love to and hopefully I can in the future I am going to be listening to you we are going to be making this together so I'm obviously going to have my vibe my style and my niche of what I'm going into which you can all guess because you know what I love it's going to be very much you're going to look at it and be like that's a Claire brand it's so in my heart but I am going to take on board all different shapes and sizes, ages, everything. I'm going to really try, like it's what I want to do. So get involved. Leave me comments in below what you want to see. I'm not going to think, oh, everybody wants to see A-line dresses. Everybody wants me to make tights. Just picking anything. And I'm going to go and make it. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to be a churning out money. I know the calculations, the formula to make the maximum money by spending the least money. I know the formula to that, I know. I know what to churn out. And that's fine for people that do that, but it's not what I want to do. I have no interest whatsoever in doing runways. I have no interest in being a designer. I have no interest in this being famous. I hope it does well, of course I do. I want it to be a huge success. Of course I'm not gonna be investing all this money and passion and time for it not to be a success, but I am basically not following any rules. Couldn't care less if it's trendy on fashion, um, and I am going to do another video when I launch the actual collection and have it here to show you. Um, I'll be going into detail about this side of things, but that's all I'm going to say for now, which is you know quite self-explanatory. So that's how long I've been doing it for. I do have ow, I do have samples. My hair's more knotty than I thought. I do have samples ready. Um, have my manufacturers. I have some really exciting things coming. So, yeah, I, it's more than just what you're going to see next week. What kind of brand is it? So, when I mean by what kind of brand it is, I'm not teaming up with anyone. There are a lot of um, brands at the moment where, because this, I've been approached by these kind of brands, and there's nothing wrong with them. It's basically an agent or a company, and they have. Which do you know? I think like Kim Kardashian and Khloe Kardashian do. I think that's what they do and Kendall. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's an amazing idea, amazing business idea. I um, think it's great. I would not even turn this down to do it in the future if it felt right for me, but I'm not this kind of brand. I'm not been approached by somebody. Let's give an example of like hair. Say I'm really known for my hair and then an agency sees like a really good business opportunity and they say, Claire, we love all your content you make around hair, you have an audience that love hair, we would love to launch a serum with you or some curling tongues with you. Um, and then you go to a meeting, they have all the suppliers, you kind of give examples, oh, I want the wand to be this colour and I want the serum to make my hair like a wet look and it's all your input but then they go and execute it all. Like it's amazing, like it's an amazing idea and again if it felt right for me I would totally do it but it's not that. I'm also not doing an edit with a brand where, um, let me just think of a brand, let me say New Look, because one of my friends is a designer there, and we were just talking about it. So say New Look approached me and said, hi Claire, we've got like this whole collection, we'd love you to pick your things that you love, um, maybe we'll make this dress in your favourite colour, and it's a new colour, it's not that. It's also not a brand where I team up with a brand like New Look, and I sit down with the New Look design team and I design my whole collection, it's not that. Again, nothing wrong with that. I, if, a, if one of my favourite brands approached me and said, would you make, like to make a collection, I totally would do it. I think it's a great idea. It's just not what I'm doing. So just to uh, explain what kind of brand it is, it's from scratch, a new brand. And yeah, 13 minutes in, and I'm going to tell you the name. So the name is Rue Sloan. 
We've had this name for quite a while. Do you know what's going on the Instagram? I made the Instagram ages ago, like maybe a year ago. And um, I think they've taken away the option where it sees when your account was created because I just wanted to know for my own self because um, I'm quite superstitious about numbers. So if anyone knows how to do that, let me know. Um, but we made it ages ago. I'll tell you how I come up with the name. We did actually have another name. So who remembers when we went to Arizona? I don't even know where we went. 2018, I think? I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 2018, around October, something like that. I don't even know. And we were location scouting for a campaign and also for the lookbook launch. And we went to the white pocket. We, we put so much effort into this location, more for the campaign, for our brand. And that's where we wanted to shoot it. We wanted to shoot in Arizona in like January or something and um, we had it all planned but obviously it's not possible. Um, and I did my logo over a picture of like the white pocket canyons and stuff. And I decided not to go with that name. Maybe I will share it with you if you want to know but I did, I, it was too close to home and it became like a really popular name. It was like a name that I didn't really hear that much. It just became really popular and someone famous had a baby with like the name of what I had and I, it, it just was there. I think it was too personal. And then I was sitting one day and I was saying, how can I think of a name? How, think of a name for a brand, it's the hardest thing. I did not want it to be Claire Chanel, my name. I then, I'm obsessed with the name Honoré. Um, and I would love that name. That would be my dream name, but if I have another child, God willing, that's not fair. I also didn't want to mix business with my baby. Anyone that calls their brand their baby's name, amazing, although I do think some people go a bit overboard on that. So I've called it Sloan because my flat is off of Sloan Street, um, kind of near Sloan Square. Um, I love this area of London. I find it so inspirational. I That flat just is such an achievement for me. I know that people like to judge, you know, but that flat is mine. Um, it means everything to me and I kind of had that flat like years ago when I had so much, my life was not what it is now and I just think it's such an inspirational place, name, where it all started. I, the, I used to stay up, up at night sewing after like having a full time job, sewing, sketching and I just feel like it was born there. So, and it's a British brand, that's, and it doesn't mean anything else, it just means to somewhere where I, I live, I still live, it's British, and it's just inspirational to me. Then we wanted to tie in something with Paris, so we were trying to think what to, what to have, and with the whole rue, like road, like how Sloan Street is a place, we thought that we would combine that with the Parisian, um, the French element. So that represents Paris and the Sloan represents me. And then it kind of goes together because Sloan is a road. So I hope that makes sense. When we was in Paris, I was with my friend Victoria from All Things Victoria. And um, we, she was helping me with the name. All of my friends have been helping me. And she was also someone that was like, think of like a Parisian street that you like. And because she, she knew my name was Honoré for the baby. Of course, she, all my best friends knew. Um, and she was like, why don't you pick something like that? And then, so she also helped us as well with the Rue. And all, so many of my friends have helped me with everything. I can't credit any of all of them because I'll, I'll end up forgetting someone. Oh, she, Victoria just texted me actually. Because uh, I was just showing her the logo. Um, so, oh yeah, let me get back to my thing. So that's the name. Let me know what you think. And then I started doubting that. And you thought, I thought, do you know what? You have to have something personal that, that's to you. So that you don't get bored of it and you believe in it. Or, you know, you can just pick a random name. Think of all these random names. Apple. Like, this is one of the biggest brands in the world, and it's called Apple. It's all about the branding. So as long as it has some relation and tie to us, um, and a story for us, that's all that matters. Because if anybody pulls it down, or doesn't like it, or we get bored in it, I'll just think, oh well, you know, this is where I live. This is the meaning for us, and it has meaning. So 
and for me, I think it's all about the branding and the brand and who you are as a brand and what you're producing. It's not so much about the name. So I'm just saying if you don't like the name, it's totally fine. I don't expect anyone to like the name. And for me, I wasn't even too precious about the name. I just wanted something that represents us and means something to us and was simple. And I love it. So that's the name. Um, what kind of brand of it? Who is the brand for? I've kind of touched on that earlier. The brand is for your everyday person. So if you do look like a model, great. It's going to look fabulous on you. If you're someone that's shorter, curvier, it's going to be for everyone. And I don't want to show the price points now, but I can promise you that it's going to be good quality. And I'm trying so hard. This is why it's taking so, so long because I have nothing against, well, I do have something against polyester, but no dig at anyone using polyester but you know when you see something beautiful this is a perfect example here actually this is all my washing piled up this was not on purpose I have this hoodie here and i'm not saying that this is what my brand is this is literally just a zara hoodie I have this hoodie i love it it's such a nice shape but it is ruined it itches me so much i can i can't even wear it um so i just want something that's good quality i want you to pick one of my pieces up and I want it to not be throw away it will certainly not be throw away the quality is going to be there it's going to feel amazing on your skin the fit is going to be amazing and it's going to be worth the money but I'll be honest with you I don't want a brand that extortionate an extortionate is I mean I considered it I considered making top quality amazing luxury fastenings and really being passionate about every single detail which I still am but I want it to be something I've got to wrap this up but I want it to be I want I want to give you everything in the sense of good quality a fair price and we're not going to be doing huge margins I'm really focusing on the quality of the pieces um, but also trying to give you like your money's worth because you can get a polyester dress made for literally nine pound even less and then with the right branding, you can sell it for £200. It's, and, you know, that's maximum maximum margin, amazing formula. I'm not going to do that. And I'm also... So bear with me with the prices, because if you do find what I have and you're like, oh, I can go buy this on the high street for even less. Yes, you can, but that's a famous brand that churns out 50,000 um, minimum orders. And I'm not, I'm a small brand and I'm also making the quality good. So bear with me with the prices. I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, oh, secretly dropping hints. Yes, I've already told you that. I was dropping hints all the time. We are launching this today. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Obviously, it's not Christmas yet. It's Christmas soon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm launching this on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. I hope that everyone's... Uh, sorry, I totally forgot I'm putting this out Christmas Day. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Christmas with all the rules. I hope that you manage to have a really lovely day. Let's just look forward to next year. The reason why I... It's even ruined my plans of doing this on Christmas Day. So I wanted to be with my family press the upload of this video of the logo on my Instagram you were all going over to the Instagram I hope and just celebrate it on Christmas Day I hope that nobody like hates everybody hates this and doesn't go on the Instagram and then it's actually ruined my Christmas Day that could really backfire um, but what will be will be and I just wanted to be with my family and like have a champagne and ha be a day to remember but obviously that's not really happening now so I still wanted to stick to the plan. I love Christmas and I wanted it to be an end, a really good ending to this year and that's just why I chose Christmas really. And I've worked so hard on it this year that I did want it to go out on the on the on the year that it was born. And it did go into motion and the samples were done. So that's why I chose Christmas Day. Um oh and the name, I've already spoken about the name, so that's good, it's not too long. So yeah, I would have loved this more than anything to be called on away. I think it's the best name in the world. It looks so good on logos, H is a strong letter, but yeah, I wanted to I mean imagine having another child, I'd have to come up with another brand to look after the other child. So I didn't want to do that. And yeah, keep it separate, which I already told you. So I won't keep this on any longer. I've been so nervous to tell you, it's been so long in the making literally like all those times I'm proving to you that I'm not just saying this has been a long time I've always loved fashion I've always wanted to do this it genuinely I genuinely have been going to all of these trade shows all of the the only time I traveled in 2020 
was to go to Paris to PV. Um, and all of the holidays we've had, it's all been about location scouting. We have just put our life and soul into this, so I just really hope you love it as much as we do. I am so excited to show you. I am launching it probably just with... No, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm launching it with um, something that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I'm launching it with uh, something that I've wanted to do for years and years and years. I have like 10 different versions of it made. I tried to have one made four years ago and it didn't look good at all. I'll, do you know, I'll do a whole video on samples at like how bad some of them turned out. There's one thing with the final sample. I'll just tell you this and then I'll end this video. Um, let me, oh, I can't even think of something. Let's talk, let's show you, let's show you this jacket. Oh, my new glasses. Oh, everything's falling. This Prada jacket, which by the way is amazing. Say you just said to them, okay, I want a grey fabric. Do you know how many grey fabrics are? There are, there are a hundred thousands of different fabrics. There are thousands of different grey. Oh, I want a dark grey. It will be the worst dark grey that you've ever seen. Then if you were to say, I want two buttonholes here. I am not joking you. These people, as amazing as they are, manufacturers, and they are very skilled, they're not designers, and if you want, you can you can pick a factory and get pay for a designer, which is different. But obviously, I am the designer, so I'm doing it. But you can literally say, okay, I want two buttonholes here, and you've got it in your head how this is going to come out. And I want, I want a really thin lapel. You will get the uh, you will, and I want two pockets here, and you think it's going to end up like that because that's what you've got in your head and they'll send you the sample that they've spent a week making and you're like what is that you have to tell them every single detail you have to tell them the width of the of the buttonhole the exact measurements of that lapel um, and if you can if you say that you want a slanted pocket I'm not doing any of this if you want to do a slanted pocket they'll do that slanted pocket exactly how you said but then they'll do this crazy flap on there that that you didn't even, but you didn't mention it. So what do you expect? They've just improvised and they've made it. Um, and it takes a long time. So let's just say we're talking about, say this had a heart logo on the shoulder. And you said, okay, and then put a red heart on the shoulder. Three red hearts. So let's say I wanted one, two, three red hearts like this. Okay, three hearts on the shoulder. Yeah, of course he's going to do it how I imagined it. And then they make it and you've got one, two, three hearts here. It has taken me four and a half months to get the positioning of this one thing. Not, it's not one thing, it's like collective things, but imagine four and a half months just position, positioning one design element of one garment. Four months. And I got halfway through these four months and I just said to my mum, mum, they've sent me a video. It's awful. I can't, I don't, I don't like it. What am I gonna do? And you know what my mum's like? She's like, you're gonna, you're gonna go back and you're gonna work in it and it will, and it will look amazing. And I said it to all my friends. I sent a couple of my friends the sample, being like, oh, it looks terrible. What am I gonna do? And then they were like, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. And I'll be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I persevered with it. And the day the video came through of the final thing, I was like, oh. I was so excited. I was like, I can't believe it looks like in my mind, all oh, everything's in the right position. And the poor manufacturer, he was like, can you finalize this now? Are we done with this one garment now? I was like, yes, we're done. Um, and without putting too much out there, I really have to go now. I'm gonna be boring you terribly to sit in here like this. Without going on it too much, I picked, obviously, the manufacturers are very secretive about what they, you know, you can't find Chanel's, uh, manufacturer it'd be impossible not that I want Chanel's uh I generally don't and they're all in-house anyway I'm just okay let's just say I've got a bag here River Island my old friend is also a designer there River Island uh you can't google River Island manufacturer and find it so I spent all this time looking for manufacturers I had a meeting with two of them not all of them but two of them in particular and I can see something on the side there and I was like so I have got the manufacturer of two amazing brands, which I'm not gonna tell you, I can't, I can't tell you, but they are, I, I was like, the angels are watching over me and guided me to this 
manufacturer and it was all my hard work like loads of meetings looking at what they've done having in-depth meetings with them can you make this I want it exactly like this show me what you how everything works and whittling it down from hundreds to five and then from five to one and you they only let you see things when you have and you know you go in where they do it all and you actually can see things on the side and I was like oh my god I can't believe I had this same manufacturer so the quality, like, I have the best manufacturers and I can't believe they're manufacturers that make some of the best brands in the world, literally, and brands that I have. I can't believe it. So you're getting good. It's, it's going to be good. So there it is, everyone. Rue Sloan. Feels so good to say it. Rue Sloan, it would mean everything. We've done this journey together. We're going to do it together. I want you to be a part of what we're doing. I've got some amazing ideas without, uh, and I don't mean just for the, the designs, I've got some amazing ideas that I can't wait to share with you. And please go over to, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I've launched the Instagram. Please, please, please go over and follow. I've got one picture already up. Um, please, it means everything to me. Please go and follow it over there. Join me on this journey. Um, thank you so much for everything, all the feedback, all the support everything like I'm here because of you I'm making these videos I'm getting I'm getting excited sharing the cameras just cut out so it's so long but I'm just so obviously so passionate about this and I don't want to I don't want to uh, forget the part at the end where I'm thanking you and how it's all possible with you and you have all made me so excited because I do like I put out little testers on Instagram and then I wait for your you've been so involved with me from the beginning and you don't even know it and I'm so excited about the journey with you because I think if I started it not as an influencer and put it out, yeah, of course I'd be major excited, of course, of course, of course. But I do have this relationship with so many of you, hundreds of you from all over the world and I've had all your your input when we talk about clothes and, and uh, some people that I've got such a good relationship with Instagram, do you know I've actually told quite a few followers, like just random women that have been following me for years and like they've, they've guessed a couple of the things they've guessed. Like one, one follower, she guessed like a year ago and I actually showed her a couple of things and I was like, what do you think of this? How much would you pay for this? It's been amazing, like it's such a honour, a blessing to have you all doing this with me. So, um, I'll still be doing, I'll still be blogging and talking about all my favourite brands, even if it's something similar, of course, you know, there's room for everyone, there's room for everyone launching their own brand, and I hope this has inspired you to start your own idea, go for it, just put your best efforts into it, and let's just hope it all turns out, so thank you so much for watching, I hope it hasn't been a flop or a disappointment, go and follow Ruslan on Instagram, and uh, Let's hope it all works out. I can't wait to share the first uh, piece with you. I really, really can't. It's like, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, thanks for watching. Have an amazing Christmas. Whatever you're doing, which I know is sitting at home. Um, oh, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. But it's finally out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry that it's 30 minutes long. It was meant to be 10 minutes. Go follow Ruslan. It's Christmas. I think you're annoying everyone. Everyone wants to enjoy their Christmas and you're a workaholic trying to get more done over Christmas.